An egg with twins in it. This bodes good for the waffles, bad for the game. Vampire counts are entering the Sylvan Forests. Here the Sylvan Elves are deploying first. In a frontline clash, hold the center. Next we'll see the Vampire Count deployment since the Sylvan Elves dropped everything. Here are the spells for the Sylvan Elves. Two Adepts, this is the Druid, and two Ancient uh, Stick creatures of a certain name, Ancient uh, Dryads. We're not redoing the bat report. Shake my army list. The vampire counts deployed compactly. So uh, first off, from the right over here, we have two Varkolax. So sneak up and flank the Sylvans. You'll have to say that in Swedish or else people will know. <laughs> yeah, know my plan. Yes, and uh, over here we have uh, 20 zombies with a necromancer, uh, level 2, no, not level 2, adept evocation with binding scroll. And uh, behind we have two bat swarms. Next, 20 more zombies with another necromancer, uh, this one with the uh, tomb of. Uh, Un unholy too, so dance macabre, and uh, they both have the hereditary spells. The evocation one shows the, one of the snipe spells, hasten the hour. And uh, then we have the general's unit, my strigoi vampire, uh, and that one is equipped with uh, halberd. Bestial Bulk, uh, Binding Scroll and Eternity Gem. He has a Shamanism Adept, so he has the Awaken the Beast and the Arise spell. And also the Summon Zombie spell. And behind there we have this fancy looking Altar of Death. Um, Indeed. Much to say about that one yet, but then we have a huge block of uh, skeletons, hand weapon and shield, full command, and legion banner. And uh, in it, we also have two banshees one a bit fancier than the other <laughs> so far. Those. Uh, and over on the left flank, we have two units of uh, dire wolves. Eight eight uh, in each of them and uh, ten wraiths behind those and bat swarms even if the bats looks a little big so that's the vampire army and the Sylvans get the first turn yeah After Sylvan Elves, turn one. No casualties, just movement and the trees and forests were the most active movers at that. Turn one for the Vampire Counts. They'll be charging. Charge. The Kestrel Knights Lost out on their flanking strategy, got caught fleeing by the Varkolax, who are now close to the flank of the Sylvan Elves. Other than that, skeletons are racing their own kin out of the hard ground. Turn two, Sylvan Elves. The Sylvans reform 
their drives to meet the Vorkolex and move the forests in more centrally. The forest rangers kill a unit of wolves, dire wolves, at that. They have forest embrace on them. And a couple of wounds on of the Vorkolex from archers. No charges. As the music reflects, the pressure is on the vampires now. Turn two for the Varkolak, host of Strigois and vampires. They're chaffing on this flank and attacking with the Varkolak on the first shown flank. Turn 3 for the Sylvans. The Thicket Beast on the Sylvan side charged the Skeleton unit, picking off 10 Skeletons or so. After the Skeletons took 1 point for holding the center in round 2. The Forest Rangers killed off a unit of Direwolves and the uh, Sylvan Lands horsemen on the Sylvan side killed Direbats. End of round three. Nobody takes the objective this turn. The Varkolak charging into the flank of the Drides lost his two wounds because of the hatred and Lethal strike of the drides. Even though only three drides struck, they took his two wounds. It's tough luck for an undagged. The other flank is far more in the vampire's favor here. They've killed off almost the entire unit of forest rangers, mostly with banshee attacks and walkthrough attacks. And so on. One horseman fell to magic from the altar. Round four Sylvan Elves. The drives charge the guests. After overrunning through the bats. Thicket beasts keep withering away the skeletons at about the rate they are raised. But importantly, the Varkolak was shot down by the archers. The stars aligned for them. The banshees and reapers on this flank are also mostly eliminated, except for one Banshee. Reversing the good fortune of the undead on this flank in the latter turn. These zombies though, still stand and hold the flank for the zombies. And the altar is building up strength with each turn. center of the field, growing more powerful in its evil for every turn. This is the end of round five. It's a draw with the objective in this round. Quite a few ghasts fell and only five drides, but an ancient dried matriarch fell. So a little less magic on the Sylvan Elf side. The altar of death is finally causing death all around. Just picking off a few 
of each unit here, but there are only two forest rangers left. And they're on light feet, so to speak. We're trying to play with a gaming clock. We did not succeed, however, we've created a new system for counting rounds by how many waffles we make while playing. Which was a success. So, four waffles around. Four waffles around. <laughs> Remember that, guys. The misfortunate dryads fled after losing while steadfast in combat against the ghasts. Now in round five, the vampire counts are taking over the center. They lead by two points to the objective. A banshee is dead here. One forest ranger remains. This is the end of round five. The guests charged into the flank of the thicket beasts, who are stubborn though. The altar also charged into the thicket beasts. Two beasts were lost. They stand their ground into the last round. Here the last forest ranger died to magic from the altar. And that's it. Everything seen in the far distance is dead. Dead and dead. Doubly dead. And some thrice so. The story of which one would not want to hear. Champion, We're into the last half of the last round. The thicket beasts still stand, two of them left, a champion and his mate with two wounds. A wild huntsman charged into the rear of the altar, did nothing and died. That's his story. Now the ghasts fell out of combat because too many thicket beasts died. They used their sixth round to charge in again. And these skeletons are charging the dryads who rallied. The objective is in the net for the vampires having stood the ground in the middle forest resiliently, persistently, for three rounds at least. The last round is over. The skeletons and dryads stand, and the thicket beast champion stands with one wound left, where he charged the skeletons into the forest in the center of the battle in round two. The skeletons are still there too. There are nine more skeletons than are visible, than the three who are visible because of the Awaken spell cost, but we haven't placed there the skeletons. Awaken the beast was cast on the guests, making it a tough round for the thicket beast, and the vampire host certainly took the center of the battle and the objective. But vampires only took about 1200 points of the Sylvan Elves. The Sylvan Elves took 2310 points. <laughs> so 1100 difference and the objective. That's it. This is close. Uh, the Sylvan Elves strategy was to try to get into the game again and remember the rules. Uh, that failed. What was the Vampire Count strategy? <laughs> well, um... Even though it was some time since the last game, but I felt the rules I should <laughs> have a grip on. So my uh, strategy was to go uh, a lot for the objective and uh, try out the vampire counts list. I have, uh, it's, uh, I think it's the first time I actually put the vampire models on the table, so it was uh, fun to try them out. I think the plan worked to be distracting on the flanks and then hold the middle, but uh, the flanks uh, yeah. didn't hold up quite as well as I had hoped. It ended rather well anyway. 
But I uh, had hoped for more action from the Barkolax and the Wraiths and such. Exactly. But, um, yeah, it, I don't know if I like the, uh, the playstyle, but it's it got potential and it's fun to race a bunch of models when the, the opponent just only can watch as they grow back. Yeah, you can't say I'm ripping my hair out because there's little left. <laughs> Yeah, it's a good game, all in all. Fun Definitely. to try things out. A 10-10 game, including the objective. <laughs>